In this segment, we're going to talk about how fees are calculated for architects, engineers, and construction managers. So let's say that you have a $10 million building. And let's say that fee is 5%. So 10% is a million, 5% is $500,000 is what the total fee is at 5% for the architect and engineer. So $500,000 fee to design that $10 million building. Now from that $500,000 fee, it gets broken up between all the disciplines, architects, engineers, structural, civil, MEP, everybody. From that fee, let's just say that the electrical engineers get 10%. So $500,000 top fee, 10%. So a $50,000 fee for the electrical team. And now at $100 an hour, rough base rate, billable rate for this project, you are looking at 500 hours. 500 hours is what it will take, or is what's budgeted for that project. It's pretty straightforward math. That's how things get broken down. And then from there, you have your schematic design, design development, construction documents, construction admin, and those get percentages accordingly as well. So that's how a fee is broken down and that's how hours are typically allocated on a project. Pretty simple and straightforward. It's not always transparent across firms and I didn't realize this when I was starting out in the architecture and engineering industry until it was some later years on how these fees are really developed. So I hope this helps you and gives a little transparency to the business side of the A&E world. As far as construction managers, they typically also get anywhere from three to 5% on a project. So again, the same math basically applies, but their fee is really that top line and they take three to 5% of the construction costs and that's their fee for managing the project. So. Hopefully this helps you and let me know what you think in the comments below.